There's a story about a religion teacher who asked her grade one class, what is a saint? And a little girl frantically waves her hand to answer, I know, I know, a saint is someone that the light shines through. She'd seen the sun streaming through the stained glass windows in her parish church. That's a good lead into St. Gerard Magella, on whom we're going to reflect for a few minutes. Gerard is someone through whom the light of God shone. He's one of three saints in the first group of Redemptorists founded by St. Alphonsus Liguri, and one of 13 Redemptorists who have been declared saints or blessed down through our history. But the people where Gerard lived and ministered are very quick to remind us, Gerard doesn't belong to you, he's ours. Gerard was a saint of the people. He's a reminder to us that we're all called to be holy, that holiness doesn't belong to a particular class of people, but it's within the reach of everyone. A little on the life of Gerard. He was born in 1726, the youngest of five children to a very poor family in a mountain village in southern Italy. His father died when he was 12, so he had to go to work to help support his mother and sisters. In his late teens, he tried to join the Capuchins, but they rejected him because of his frail health. And then one day when Gerard was 23, the Redemptorist preached a mission in his parish. He was really taken by their preaching, so he asked to join as a brother. But this time, he didn't take no for an answer. He followed them as they were leaving town. And despite their misgivings because of his health, they decided to take him on at a trial basis. And that began the very eventful life as a Redemptress. In the six years that he was with us, before he died of tuberculosis at the age of 29, he often went with the priests on parish missions across southern Italy. He became known as a reader of hearts and souls, and he brought about striking conversions. He became a spiritual advisor to priests and nuns and laypeople. He's said to have multiplied food in the bread lines for the poor. And he gained the reputation of being the mother's saint because of several striking incidents of his prayer on behalf of mothers in childbirth. His miracles became legendary among the poor people that he so loved. Gerard died on October the 16th, 1755. He was canonized a saint in 1904. I want to highlight the aspects of his holiness which every one of us can imitate. Gerard reminds us that God is the center of our lives, not ourselves. He's the one who makes us holy if we let him. It is his grace, his light, which shines in us. Gerard let God make him a saint. When he ran off to join the Redemptress, he left a note for his mother. I've gone off to become a saint. Gerard hungered for God. We read from St. Paul in the Mass on his feast day, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. I want to gain Christ and to be found in him. Gerard responded wholeheartedly to God at the center of his life. He writes, to love God much, always united to God, to do all for God, to love all for God, to conform myself to his holy will, to suffer much for God. This is also expressed in Gerard's profound love for Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, before whom he spent hours in prayer. Gerard's love especially centered on Christ crucified. He lived the text of St. Paul, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. He consciously conformed his life to Christ crucified by a life of intense penance and by centering on others and their needs rather than on himself. He also underwent much interior suffering it's through the cross that God purified him and made him a saint. 
Gerard was called the, the madman of God. But it was a madness of love. And his love for the crucified Christ had a spin-off in a love for the poor and the abandoned. Finally, Gerard desired to do the will of God with all his heart. He had a sign placed on the door of his room, the will of God is done here as God wills it and as long as he wills it. For Gerard, union of our own will with the will of God is our fulfillment as human beings. A saint is someone that the light shines through. In St. Gerard, we see God shining through a fellow human being. Madman of God, centered on God and on his will, the lover of the poor and miracle worker for them, the mother's saint. Through his intercession, may Gerard lead us to God in the ways of holiness. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.